Hi folks, this is Jay Creighton from Small Scale Homes. In this video I'm showing you my ESP module. ESP standing for Essential Systems Pod, which basically is an 8x20 steel high cube shipping container outfitted with a complete kitchen, complete bathroom, and laundry. I'm going to rotate this and switch to X-ray view. We'll look down on the kitchen from the top, zoom in, and uh, begin looking from the upper left hand corner. That's a full-size fridge, full-size dishwasher, double ball sink, full-size range and hood, and in the lower left, that's a tall pantry cabinet, a lot of circulation space, counter space, base cabinets, wall cabinets, and windows there. In the bathroom, again, starting in the upper left, linen closet where you could put your water heater, uh, vanity with um, medicine cabinet above, toilet, full-size stacked washer dryer, and full-size tub shower combination. Now let's take a look on the inside, wander around, get a feel for it. Tub shower combination, full size stacked washer dryer, back out to the kitchen, and outside again. Now if you stuck uh, doors where that opening to the outside is, this could be a freestanding unit that could be shared by more than one family or home. But the thinking basically is you prefabricate these units out of the shipping containers and you can attach them to essentially any building. Like in my examples here I have a uh, another shipping container, a shed, an A-frame, a barn, and a garage. Uh, by attaching my ESP unit to it, you could take any of these structures and turn them into pretty adequate living facilities. There are plenty of situations around the world where the housing is substandard and by attaching these units to it you would uh, do remarkable things to raise the, the living standard and the housing quality. So there they are, uh, freestanding outside, not yet attached, but they're easy to attach and I'll show what that might look like. Probably good to have a foundation in most situations. I'm showing them attached but with a little four foot corridor or standoff connecting them. That allows for some air circulation space so you don't get moisture build up and rot. It also allows uh, exterior openings that are already there like doors and windows to continue to be functional and operable. So we'll look around and examine the way they can be attached to these various buildings and these are just examples. It doesn't have to be done this way. But the point is that these units could be prefabricated. They would be quite inexpensive they'd be easy to ship virtually anywhere, even in quantity, and they could be used to upgrade housing stock around the world or just for you. If you're interested in learning more about the ESP unit and you'd like to see that in more detail as well as some of my other shipping container home designs and other designs in general by me and others, especially in terms of small homes, then visit my blog which is smallscalehomes.blogspot.com and if you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it, and comment on it. And thanks for watching.